Hello, dear students. I'm Pratima. I welcome you all. Today, we'll solve a competency-based question from area related to circles. This is for class 10. And this may be asked as case study question. So we'll read the question very mindfully. Now, this question is about a clock. It is a clock that uses pendulum, a swinging weight, and it is timekeeping element from its invention in 1656 by Christian Hegens. The pendulum clock was the world's most precise timekeeper, accounting for its widespread use. Their greater accuracy allowed for the faster pace of life, which was necessary for the industrial revolution. The home pendulum clock was replaced by less expensive synchronous electric clocks in the 1930s and 40s. Pendulum clock are now kept mostly for their decorative and antique value. Dhriti bought a pendulum clock for her living room. The clock contains a small pendulum of length 45 cm. The minute hand and hour hand of the clock are 9 cm and 6 cm long, respectively. So, this is the useful information you have to note. Length of the pendulum is 45 cm, minute hand is 9 cm, and the hour hand is 6 cm. Now, question comes What is the area swept? by the minute hand in 14 minutes. The options are 72.4 cm square, 59.4 cm square, 86.4 cm square, 68.4 cm square. So here, when minute hand is sweeping the area, that means that is the area of a sector. And the area of sector, we know that is if the, it makes an angle theta, it will be theta upon 360 multiplies by r square when r is the radius and the length of the minute hand is your radius. But how to find theta? Theta will find in a very shortcut method. What is it? Now in minute hand in 60 minutes it completes a rotation. So it's in 60 minutes it covers area Pi r square. So in one minute, it will cover how much? Pi r square upon 60. So now it will cover in 14 minutes. So in 14 minutes, it will cover 14 will be multiplied. So the answer will be 14 upon 60 multiplies pi and where what is r here? r is 14. 14 square. So, so it will be no, the minute hand is 9 centimeter, not 14 centimeter. It is 9 centimeter. So it will be 9 square. So area is equal to 14 by 60. So 14 upon 60 multiplies 22 by 7 into 9 multiplies 9. So we'll simplify 7 2 times here to 30 and 3 cancel with 3. Now 22 multiplies 27 upon 10. So if we multiply, it will be 594 upon 10. That will be 59.4 centimeter. So we used a unitary method to find the angle theta. I took the ratio minute upon minute. So no need of wasting time to find theta. Next question, what is the angle described by our hand in 10 minutes? How much distance it co covers by our hand? What is the angle? Now we know that one hour hand, that means it completes a whole rotation in 12 hours. 12 hours means how much minutes? 12 into your 60 minutes. So in 
12 multiply 60 minutes our hand covers the distance covers angle 360 degree because whole circle means your 360 degree the question is about how much it angle you discover in 10 minutes options are 5 degree 10 degree 12 degree 14 degree so we took the information the it completes in 12 hours so 12 hours is 12 into 60 minutes so it covers 360 degree so in one minute it will cover 360 upon 12 multiply 60 i am not multiplying multiplying 12 into 60 because we'll cancel or simplify so now it is how much minute it is covering 10 minutes so in 10 minutes it will cover 360 upon 12 multiply 60 multiply 10 so we'll cancel here 660 12 5 times your 60 so 5 degree will be the angle so a is correct option Next question, what is the distance covered by the tip of the hour hand in 3.5 hours? So in, in your clock, mini will go for the hour hand. So how much it, distance tip is covering means it is just your 2 pi r. It is the circumference of the circle. So 2 pi and radius will be taken as the length of the hour hand that will be 6. R is 6 and this 2 pi r distance it covered covers in how many hours? How many hours? It will be in 12 hours. So in 12 hours. So this is the information from which you will get how much distance will cover in 3.5 hours? So in 3.5 hours, it will be 3.5 divided by 12 multiplies by 2 pi r. So this is the ratio 3.5 upon 12. Or you can think of in immunity method. In 12 hours, it is covering your 2 pi r. So in one hour, it is covering 2 pi r upon 12. So in 3 point, it will be 3.5, it will multiply 3.5. So this is the same concept, R is will take as 6 centimeter. So it will be 3.5 of 12 multiplies 2 into 22 by 7 multiplies 6. Now it will be 2 cancelling 6, 6, 6 cancel 7.5. So 22 multiplies 0. 0.5, 22 multiply 0. 0.5 is 11 centimeter. So it will cover the distance 11 centimeter. Next, if the tip of a pendulum covers a distance of 66 kilometer in 66 centimeter in complete oscillation, what is the angle described by the pendulum at the center? So when a pendulum is moving, we say oscillation means from A to B, again to getting back to A. This is the oscillation. That means it is covering twice length of the arc, twice length of arc AB. So this is given to 66 centimeter. So twice L is equal to 66 centimeter. So L is equal to 33 centimeter. L is 33. We have to get the angle. The options are 68 degree, 42 degree, 56 degree, 48 degree. Now, radius is same as the length of the pendulum. It was given to 45 centimeter. So, R is 45 centimeter. Now, the relation between your ln to pi r. We know that L is equal to theta by 360 multiplies 2 pi r. L is given to 33. Theta is not given. We have to find out twice pi 22 by 7. And R is how much? R is 45. So we'll get what is theta. So theta will be 33 multiplies 360 multiplies 7 whole upon 222 into 45. 
simplify and get the answer. So this will be 11, 3 times 33, 2 times 22. Then next day, 2 multiplied to 4 multiplied. 360 divided by 4 is 90. 40, 90 into 7 into 3 by 45. Again, 45, 2 times 90. So this will be 42 degree. So B is the answer of this question. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing my channel and liking the video. So again, we'll meet in your next video. Thank you.